Hi, I'm Angelina, the National Grow with Google Digital Coach. Today, we're going to look at five ways to work more efficiently in Google Docs and Gmail. These productivity hacks can help you be more organized and save you time because we know time is money. If you're looking for a Google file, think Google Docs, Sheets, or Slides, and you know the file name, you can bypass searching through folders. In a Google Chrome browser, start typing the name of the file you want to open in the address bar. A list of suggestions will appear. When you see the name of the file you want, click it to open. For those times when you know you won't have Wi-Fi access, maybe working from a plane or the beach, you can set up the Make Available Offline feature. This allows you to access, edit, and save your work without an internet connection. You do need to set this up in advance. First, open the file you plan to work on offline. Click on File in the toolbar and click Make Available Offline. The first time you do this, you will see a box that says Extension Needed. Follow the prompts to add the Google Docs Offline Chrome extension. Once the extension is installed, the Make Available Offline option is available for all of your files. The next time your device connects to the internet, the changes you made will sync automatically. Did you know you can also work on email offline? Again, you need to set this up in advance. While you are connected to the internet, click the gear icon in Gmail to go to Settings and click See All Settings. Click Offline, choose Enable, and save your settings. Bonus, you don't even need the Chrome extension for this one. When you're offline, you won't receive new emails, but you can read and respond to emails in your inbox. Your responses will be sent the next time your device connects to the internet. There are times where you may have to send a recurring email message. Think thank you emails or reminders. Rather than typing the same message over and over, you can create a template. In Gmail, click the gear icon to go to settings and click see all settings. Click advance and look for templates. From here, choose enable and save your settings. Now go back to your inbox and compose the email that you want to save as a template. When it's ready, click on the three dot icon in the lower corner and click template. Save draft as template and save as new template. Give it a descriptive name. Now, the next time you need to write that email, click that three dot icon and select template. You will see the descriptive name, click that and your new email is ready to edit and send. Who likes hitting snooze in the morning? I know I do. Did you know you can snooze your emails too? You can manage your Gmail inbox and your time by snoozing non-urgent emails. From your inbox, right-click on an email you want to revisit and select snooze. You'll be asked to choose a later date and time. The email disappears, only to reappear at the top of your inbox at your chosen time. If you change your mind, you can find it in your Gmail snoozed folder. I'll bet whoever said you snooze, you lose probably didn't know this Gmail tip. There are also times when you won't want to send an email as soon as you write it. In those cases, you can schedule an email to be sent later. First, compose the email, including the recipient. Now click the down arrow next to the send button and select schedule send. Select a suggested date and time, or click pick date and time to see a calendar picker. Click schedule send to save. If you change your mind and want to edit, reschedule or delete the email, you can find it in the Gmail scheduled folder. <music> Quickly find files, keep working when you're offline, create a template for recurring emails, snooze email, schedule email to be sent later. To keep learning about growing your business or career, be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out the rest of our videos. See you next time.